Hello, and welcome back to what I guess I'm going to call our interlude between Chapter 1 and Chapter 2. Since I've started recording our first batch of videos, a number of things have changed, and so I just want to touch on those before we get into Chapter 2. The first and most obvious thing you'll notice is that I'm now using Xcode 5, and uh, my guess is you're going to be using it too. And for most of the stuff moving forward, I'm going to be testing on iOS 7 devices. So that's the first and biggest change. The second is that we've upgraded both the Google Plus and the Google Play Games SDKs since uh, we first launched these videos. In Google Plus land, we are now using SDK version 1.4, and on Google Play Games, we're now using version 1.2. If you've used older versions of either of these libraries, you're going to need to download the new versions of these libraries and install them. And uh, I actually need to do that here, so I'm going to show you how I do it. It turns out that, at least in my case, upgrading frameworks and bundles within Xcode is, uh, it, it causes some issues for me. I've never had good luck with this. Xcode suddenly seems to, you know, forget what my GPG manager is and can't seem to find it. And, you know, I run into a lot of odd issues. And uh, as counterintuitive as it might seem, I've actually had much better luck if I update these frameworks just using Finder. So I'm going to do that. So first thing we're going to do, I'm going to close this project in Xcode. Next up, I'm going to open up a Finder window where my project is located. And now I'm going to download the updated version of each of these libraries. So let me open up Chrome here. And first I'm going to go to developers.google.com slash games slash services slash downloads. Uh, by the time you see this video, this should now say Games SDK version 1.2 or maybe 1.2.1. And uh, click on this link to download it. And then you can go to developers.google.com slash plus slash downloads to download the updated version of the Google Plus SDK for iOS. And I'm going to download it here. And you can see it's telling me I have SDK version 1.4.1. So now I'm going to go into my downloads folder. And here we can see the new SDKs. Let's extract this zip. And this will probably say 1.2, not 1.2, beta. And now we can replace the frameworks. So here's what I'm going to do. It's pretty straightforward. First, let's do the Google Plus SDK. So I'm going to go into my guess my number folder or wherever it turns out Xcode has copied uh, the framework folders for you. In my case, it's right in here. I'm going to delete these two frameworks. There we go, just the two frameworks. And I'm going to copy them over again within Finder into the same location. And then I'm going to do the same thing with my Play Game Services framework and bundle. Delete it. And then copy these two over. There we go. Again, I know this seems a little counterintuitive. We're sort of swapping out frameworks kind of under the feet of Xcode. And uh, it doesn't seem to know that it's happening. But if you open up this project again in Xcode, it seems to handle these changes pretty elegantly, which is nice. Now, once that's done, if you try to compile this thing, you'll probably get a number of errors. And it looks like it's, you know, stuff that looks like this. And that's because the new Google Plus SDK requires four more frameworks for us to add. So we'll go into these. And so the first thing we're going to add is core motion. There we go. We're also going to add core location. Next, we're going to add assets library. And uh, finally, I think we're going to add Media Player. All right, once those uh, four new frameworks have been added, the SDK should compile correctly. Let's uh, run it and see what happens. No issues. Build succeeded. That's good. And there we go. Everything seems to be working, although you might notice an odd little error, which is that our title has now disappeared underneath this navigation controller. And in fact, if I click easy to go into an easy game, you'll see that, you know, the 
instructions I can't really see because it's hidden behind uh, this somewhat translucent navigation controller. Now, this is happening because, well, I did not follow recommended protocol and start using auto layout when it first became available. And, you know, right now somebody in Cupertino is laughing at me saying, yeah, you thought you were so smart ignoring our recommendations, but, but who's laughing now, huh? Huh, tough guy? So uh, if you're using auto layout, this probably doesn't happen to you. In my situation, there does happen to be a pretty easy way to fix it, and that involves using these new iOS 6.7 deltas that you see right here. So here's what we're going to do. Here's how this works. I am going to switch over to my file inspector, and I'm going to say, I want to view this nib as an iOS 6.1 layout. Everything's looking good so far. And now I want to select this label and these three buttons. Go back to the size inspector. And here I'm going to set the delta Y to 60. And that means place these objects here for now in iOS 6. But when you switch to iOS 7, move them down by about 60 points. Hit return, and now when I run this, we'll see that in iOS 7, the guess my number label as well as these buttons have now been moved down underneath the navigation controller bar here. And uh, if I were to run this in iOS 6, they're still back in their original location. So this is one workaround if you find yourself running into the same issues once you've uh, switched to iOS 7. And uh, we can do the same thing in the game view controller. Here I'm going to select actually just about everything here. Make sure I'm viewing it as iOS 6.1. And then we go back to my size inspector and sell the delta Y to 60. And that will have this one fixed as well. So if I go back to iOS 7 and run this, everything is now placed properly on an iOS 7 device. And so with that, we are now fully modernized. We're using Xcode 5, iOS 7, using uh, version 1.4 of the Google Plus SDK, or I guess 1.4.1 and using version 1.2 of the Play Games SDK. And who knows, maybe by the time you see this video, we'll even be at a higher version. But there you go. With that, we're now all set to go, and we can start looking at achievements, which we'll do in the next lesson.